Young people are interested in dystopian fiction and film, um, partly because recently in particular, their lives have been so dystopian. Um, first of all, we had the pandemic, which affected young people, I think, probably worse than any other uh, group in society. Um, and we actually lived in a dystopia for, for that period of time. Uh, we weren't allowed out of our houses or only once a day to exercise. We couldn't see people, we couldn't see our friends and our loved ones. We were all terrified of, of catching disease. Um, the state intervened to kind of tell us what we could and couldn't do. So we were living in a dystopian environment um, through the pandemic and through lockdown. A lot of popular dystopias are very much aimed at adolescent readers, like the Hunger Games series, like the Divergent series, the Maze Runner. Um, and what we see in these texts is young people resisting the regime and challenging the regime. So reading these texts, watching these films, it allows young people to explore their own responses to living in a kind of slightly coercive, surveilling um, environment. And it also allows them to explore how they might resist and challenge that. What it does is, is play out in fictional form that whole debate about what is a dystopia, what's my response to it as an individual, where can I find my place, where might I be able to challenge the regime. So it probably just gives people an, an imaginative way of working through um, some of the in things that they're experiencing in their daily lives. And for students of creative writing, it also gives them the potential to think about, well, what would I create in my version of a dystopian or utopian future? What English provides you with is excellent writing skills, excellent research skills, the ability to speak in front of anybody like I'm doing now. So any career that involves writing, arguing, presenting, pitching. So most careers, really. My project on ageing and dystopia is about the way that ageing is represented in literature and culture. So ageing is often seen as this, this dystopian threat. A lot of literature also challenges that idea. Um, and so we're getting some speculative fictional texts or science fictional texts which play around with time and ageing in really interesting ways and don't see it as this kind of threatening dystopian prospect. And so that's what my current research project's exploring.